Hello, welcome to Jaffec Manufacturing. Today, we're going to demonstrate the recommended procedure for converting, firstly, a 300 millimeter by 1200 millimeter metric style two lamp uh, fixture, as well as a 600 millimeter by 1200 millimeter uh, recessed fixture to both of them will be converted to a two lamp 28 watt system. Whenever refitting any existing fixture, it's important to think of safety first. Be sure the power is turned off and the, the switching is made safe so that there's no hazard of electrical shock. And follow all local authority rules and regulations on installation procedures. When retrofitting, proper electrician's tools will be required to do a complete installation. Be sure to have your material with you, with your lamps and your ballasts and your uh, refit conversion kits. Uh, the fixture I have uh, came to me without lamps in it, so all I can say is uh, uh, be sure to remove the so existing sockets, remove the ballast cover, uh, you'll need to keep it for the con uh, final the install, uh, and remove the ballast, uh, and make sure the fixture is ready for uh, the retrofit. First thing you'll need to do is to install your new electronic ballast, be sure that your Power uh, black and white feeds are located as close to the existing power feed as possible. Uh, relocate, uh, uh, refit the ballast in using your pal nut driver. Uh, attach the ballast in the existing location. Um, be sure to attach your certified uh, required ballast disconnect for 347 volts to uh, 347 volts. It's required on any installation below 100, and, I'm sorry, above 150 volts. And uh, that'll be attached to your power feed when you finalize putting on your socket plates uh, for the T5. The first thing you'll want to do is attach uh, one end which is common to both sockets and keep the wires out of the way. Now I've pre-drilled these holes for demonstration purposes. Uh, you will be furnished with self-drilling screws to attach the socket plates in, a, in the fixtures you're dealing with. done with your battery drill. Press your wires down so they're running down the middle of the fixture. Obviously you'll be working overhead. We're doing this on a, on a, on a bench uh, to show you how that's uh, how the procedure's done. The socket plate for the opposite end. Let's plug your wires in to each socket and make sure your wires are safe from being pinched at the end of the fixture and follow the same procedure as at the opposite end. Okay, you'll be working overhead. Probably won't fumble around as much as I do. And attach your socket plate. It should center itself along the seams of the bend line, so there will be no question of alignment. Um, again, attach your power leads uh, to your source. Be sure that the power is turned off. And reattach your existing ballast cover. Uh, friction fits inside the housing. And uh, install your lamps. need to put your lens back in and restore power.
Uh, when doing any retrofit on an existing fixture, you'll want to use standard electrical tools uh, and a battery drill. Um, this fixture will be converted to a 2 lamp 28 watt T5. Uh, first thing you want to do is remove all the lamps, the lens, the ballast cover. I didn't uh, receive the original equipment other than the ballast cover, the socket plates had already been removed. So you'll want to uh, get the fixture uh, down to the original fixture housing so that you can begin your, your retrofit. You'll want to remove the ballast, needless to say, disconnect the power, make sure the power is turned off. Uh, you're going to want to reattach your new electronic tool and ballast first. Be sure the black and white leads are facing the center using the existing ballast mounts. Make sure there's no wires in your way and your uh, pal nut driver. It's always a handy tool. Um, and attach your new electronic ballast. Then you'll want to uh, attach your ballast disconnect for uh, 150 volts to ground or higher. The black lead is marked as well as the white and then your power, final power connection will be done to this. The red again being common to both sockets at one end of the fixture. Adjust your wires out of the way. This socket plate is designed to attach to the original uh, the socket plate mounting holes to save drilling. In two places. And hopefully you'll uh, not be as awkward as me attaching the plates. You'll be doing this overhead, so you'll be with likely uh, using the battery drill to attach them. Just do the same procedure on the opposite end. Attach your blue wires, which are uh, specific to each socket at the opposite end. Be sure again not to have wires in any shape. And again, using your Red Robertson or Phillips, attach the socket plates to each end. Be sure to press your wires. Anchor. Um, before putting on the new reflectory, you'll want to uh, make your final power connections uh, to the ballast, and then you'll need to attach your snap reflector to each end and uh, install your. T5 lamps. And the socket plates are designed to meet the span of the lamps for a nice clean fit.